look, it's Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z! Hmm. Hey, Lucan! You so suck! What just happened? YouTube Ultra Maximus back with another retro review, and today we're going to rewind it all the way back to 2007 with the Human Torch. And this is from Toy Biz, uh, Marvel Legends. I think this was the Ronin build a figure. If I am wrong, uh, leave a message down below. Anyway, I found this guy super dirt cheap at my local flea market and had to pick the guy up because, well, it's an old Toy Biz Marvel Legends, and I can't help myself. Now, recently, we've gotten a Human Torch that was a Walgreens exclusive, and it was kind of an eh, okay figure, but after taking a look at this guy, I'm definitely getting much more appreciation for the Walgreens exclusive. Not to say that this figure was bad for the time, but it's, uh, uh, I don't know. This guy's uh, looking more like a Dragon Ball Z character, looking kind of like, uh, what's his name, Vegeta, than he is looking like Johnny Storm to me. Not to say that this figure was bad for the time, but it's, uh, uh, I don't know. This guy's uh, looking more like a Dragon Ball Z character, looking kind of like, uh, what's his name, Vegeta, than he is looking like Johnny Storm to me. But it does have a, a kind of cartoon look to it. Uh, there was, I don't know which incarnation. I've seen some episodes on YouTube where uh, Human Torch had kind of a straight face. They all had kind of really straight looking angular faces. And this guy definitely reminds me of that. Now, some interesting things about the figure. He does have these yellow flame effects that are all over him, which look pretty decent. Uh, they definitely look a lot cooler through the camera lens than they actually do in real life. Um, you can see the translucency to them. It's an interesting concept, but it just kind of uh, doesn't quite make it with this figure because uh, the majority of him is in the blue suit. And I think actually if they would have done his hair in the same translucent yellow, uh, it would have looked a lot better. But instead they painted it red with some yellow highlights and he just looks like he is some kind of weird millennial. Now, as far as articulation on this figure, um, he can look about that far down, he can look that far forward, he can look he left, and he can look to the right. Um, he does have uh, ball joints uh, up here with a hinge and a twist. They twist more than they go up. Uh, they're just really stiff and awkward. Um, he does have uh, upper arm rotation there. He's got a double jointed elbow, which is nice. He has a tw uh, twist and a hinge on his wrist, which is pretty cool. He's got an ab crunch and can go down that far, and he can go that far forward. Uh, he does have a twist at the waist, which is nice. His legs kind of kick outward. They don't really kick forward, per se, because of the way they're designed. Then there's a twist at the upper leg. He's got double-jointed knees, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, there is no twist at the upper thigh or at the boot. And then he's got uh, hinges at his ankle and uh, twi uh, twists back and forth, but he has no ankle pivot, which is a bit sad, but hey, it is what it is. Um, overall, I mean, it's pretty articulated for the period um, and really close to a modern Marvel legend. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, again, I I'm digging the flame effects on it, but the face is very strange. Um, it looks like there's some paint wear on the hair, but that's actually the way it's painted. It's like this orange color with some yellow highlight tips, uh, which is very strange. I guess they were trying to go for a paint of, or a flame effect on the paint job, but uh, they should have just made it translucent plastic like they did the rest of the flames. Um, I like the deep blue of the suit. I think that looks pretty well. Uh, or works pretty well. The white is a little dingy, but that's probably from age. I like the four um, that's tampoed onto his chest. I think that looks pretty decent. The sculpt is okay, but it's not what I think of when I think of the Human Torch. He looks a little aggressive and mean, and I think of the Torch being a bit more jovial. This guy looks more like a dick. Um, and it, it reminds me a lot of the animated series that we got here in the mid-2000s and uh, um, uh, really, really looks like the Dragon Ball Z character of Vegeta with his hair up like that. 
every time I look at him, that's that that's what I think. So uh, the look and style is definitely a bit outdated compared to what we're used to with Hasbro's sculpts. Looking at the midsection of the figure, again, I'm definitely digging the flame effects that are sculpted onto him. I wish they were removable, and I wish we had more of them. Um, the belt is attached to the body. It's not loose or anything. It's just kind of painted on there. The sculpt in the suit is pretty decent. Again, I liked the dark blue. I think that works really, really well. Um, the gloves, I mean, they're white. You can't really go wrong there. And pretty much the entire backside of the body is a nice dark blue color. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, we've got more flame effects down on his feet. I think the one on the right looks better than the one on the left for some reason. Just looks a little more flame-like to me. Um, the feet work pretty decent. Uh, the hips are probably the oddest part about the figure for me uh, to get it to stand proper. Um, he just kind of looks like he's in a weird pose all the time, and it's kind of hard to get him in a good flight mode. Um, but uh, everything else seems to be pretty decent, but you can definitely tell how much an ankle pivot improves the functionality uh, of the legs for posing. Um, I mean, it's just blatantly obvious on this figure. For comparison, here we have the Toy Biz Human Torch next to the Walgreens exclusive Human Torch and the Walgreens exclusive Sue Storm. As you can see, this figure is pretty dated compared to the other two, and I gotta say, while I thought this figure was kinda okay, it's definitely light years ahead of this old 2007 model. But not to say that this one's that bad, but it is a little bit dated. Uh, like I said, I do like the transparent uh, flames around the body, uh, but this one just, uh, the whole thing's transparent, looks way, way, way better, and uh, just makes this guy, uh, again, look dated. And uh, again, it just reminds me so much of that uh, cartoon uh, Fantastic Four series uh, that we had not too terribly long ago. I don't know why, but it just does. So is the 2007 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Human Torch something you want in your Fantastic Four collection? Well, if you like the older Toy Biz figures, this is probably something that you're going to want. If you don't have a Human Torch and you get this thing cheap just as a fill-in, sure. But really, this is a pretty easy pass unless you're looking for a more comic-looking character. Um, I, you know, this figure is dated, like I've said a few times in the video. Uh, the posability is okay on the top end of the figure, but the hips and the lack of um, ankle pivot really kind of make it awkward to pose. He's always kind of got this, oh, pose going on, and it doesn't really help much in flight mode either. Um, I do like the translucent yellow flame effects, especially up around the head and down on the right foot. Um, I just wish we had more of them that we could attach and remove, and they really should have done a flame effect on his head instead of painting the hair. Um, it just looks like he has a very bright orange ginger haircut that's trying to look like a Dragon Ball Z character. It's just really, really bad. Um, maybe if you swap the head out on this guy with somebody else, it might look a little bit better. I might try that. I don't know. But for better or for worse, there he is. The Toy Biz Marvel Legends Human Torch. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.